<laughs> Today we are going to be talking about the Olin's coilover kit, specifically for the Model 3. If you guys want to see an in-depth video on the comparison between the Teens and the Mountain Pass performance, you can click in this video here. Today we're going to be mostly talking about the Olin's coilover kit. The main difference in terms of aesthetics is going to be pretty big. There's a lot bigger billet made pieces. And I think that just the attention to detail and quality of the machining on the pieces you can tell is just A1. It's just really, really, really nice. How clean the threads are compared to the other ones and, and in terms of the more adjustability you have is gonna be definitely more in depth. The ones that do have adjustability for dampening and rebound are gonna be your Teens and your Olins. The Mount Pass does not come with adjustability for rebound. Your Teens are gonna be a 16 weight adjustable from the top right here. You can just do some clicks and you'll feel it. It's like a, it's a decent click. Your Olins, on the other hand, is going to be a 20 adjustability and you can really feel, if you can kind of come close, you can actually hear the clicks. The knob also in general, like, I mean, just the 3D and the quality is, you can tell is very, very different. You know, you have a rubber on this one. It is an expensive kit. I probably would expect it to come with a top hat. Now that's gonna be the one thing. This is gonna come as a complete set where you don't have to, you know, compress the spring to get the stock top hat on. Your teens are gonna come with a top hat, same as your, your rear shocks are also gonna come with a top hat. That's probably the only thing that this, I'd say this kit is missing is would be, you still gotta use the stock top hat as the mountain passes. So let's move over to the springs on the rear. Now the springs on the rear, you can tell there's a clear difference here. Just the finish and the quality, I mean, this is very nice. Mount Pass, you know, has a very nice rear sitting kit, but it's very skinny as you can tell. Now, same as the spring. The spring is very small compared to the teen. It's very more like the OEM. The OEM springs are very thick on the Model 3s and the Model Ys. I, mean, I love how the teen, they have these sleeves here for the uh, compression when sometimes it compresses too much. You move over to your Olin's though, and it actually comes with a spring helper. So what this does is it actually compresses the spring more to where when you're on a full extension coming up a driveway or say you're going up something that's tilted, sometimes the spring can release a little bit from the body and then come back down versus this actually helps it to stay compressed even on full extension. The finish and the quality of Olin's is just, I think it's unmatched. I mean, you have a double sleeve on the bottom to where you're moving versus on your teens and on your and on your other ones, you don't have a double sleeve. It's a single sleeved movement. So this one, you know, most likely is gonna stay in place whenever you lock it in place. Same with this one. It is a double sleeve, but it's it's not, you know, it's, it's very OEM. I mean, this is, this is a really big, really big piece. So this is actually gonna use your factory gasket that they use versus this one is gonna sit directly on the plate in the back. And I mean, you can just tell the thickness between the mountain pass and the old lenses. It's very clear, you know? I mean, these are still the same width, but your amount of surface area you have that's touching is very different. Having that helper spring there is gonna help a lot in terms of ride quality. The most expensive kit here on the table, second most expensive you're gonna be running is your mount pass performance. And then for, I'd say the biggest bang for your buck is gonna be the teens. I think the Olin's takes it. I mean, I love the Olin's. It just, you don't need to do this type of detailing, but they just, you know, went above and beyond in terms of build quality and aesthetics. That just, to me, knocks it out of the park.